find yourself staring up at one yourself during the storm or even today? An LED traffic light, you know, the ones that get caked over with snow. You really have no idea whether to stop or go. Certainly a chronic safety problem that CBS4 investigator Brian Moss has been following for quite a while. With howling winds and heavy wet snow, this was the result. In Denver North facing LED traffic lights were left covered with snow and ice. Same in Lakewood, where firefighters were called to hose snow off the LED traffic signals. And along Parker Road, a similar scene, as fire crews today sprayed snow and ice off the signals. If ignored, the results can be catastrophic. Not being able to move my arms. A CBS4 investigation previously reported on the case of Janet Lane, who suffered a broken neck in 2016 after an LED traffic light on Parker Road was covered with snow. The other driver couldn't see his red light and broadsided Lane's car. Not a day goes by that I don't have some flashback either to that accident or to my hospital time. Today in Denver at Alameda and Broadway, snow obscured the lights and driver after driver cruised through this intersection, unable to tell they had a red light. These LED traffic lights save on electricity costs, but they don't emit heat, allowing snow and ice to build up until lights are obscured in some snowstorms. All this was built on my own time. Chris Bichon, a signal engineer with the State Department of Transportation, showed us a prototype of a new traffic light he constructed that he believes should alleviate the LED light problem. How well does it work? Works great. I've never, I've never had it fail in any of my tests where it would start plugging up. But as municipalities continue to grapple with how to fix this vexing problem, Janet Lane's husband says we can't wait for another storm. I just hope no one else has to go through this. I think it's a really avoidable situation. Lakewood City Transportation Engineer said the snow yesterday came so fast, even heated lights couldn't melt the snow and ice fast enough. Brian Moss, covering Colorado First. We do have full coverage of this March blizzard, including all kinds of great pictures right now at CBSDenver.com and on all of our social media platforms.